met a gypsy. Speaking of Darren, how, what's, like, where does he rank? Like, you've been around for a long time. Like, have you ever seen a dad that's like him in terms of, because we all know the Moto dad, for one. Like, that's a characterized figure within yeah. the sport that it's like, hey, bro, like, just let your kid do their thing. It's over. Like, you did a good, <laughs> you did a good job. Like, you got him here. You got him to the dance. Hands off the wheel. Let the professionals take, <laughs> take it from here, you know. And you would say for 99.9% of people, that's the best route to take. That's the most balanced route to take. That's the route that would guarantee that you don't run into like some of the money issues that people have run into in this sport and just the generally letting your kid have a chance to like become not a kid and stand on their own two feet, you know. And so we know that guy. And then there's Darren. <laughs> yeah. Who seems like he's kind of broken the mold and man i know there's a lot of amateur parents that are trying to be darren lawrence and like there's going to be a lot of darren lawrence ripoffs <laughs> that start <laughs> to try and make their way into supercross but for someone like you that's just seen so many generations of riders and parents and those relationships like what does like what's your thoughts on the way that he's able to interact with like the boys and the team um i think that i mean for one to to be Darren Lawrence, you'd have to be very genuine. You got to be a genuine person. You got to be in it for the right reasons. For the right reasons, and not only that, but the way that they that he grew up and the way that he has raised the boys too. Like Darren doesn't really care that much about money, you, you know. Like as long as they have enough to survive it. I mean, they've been through the road of not you know not <laughs> yeah, having a lot, there, right? Yeah. And I mean the the boys get like you know they got you know they have basically matching ferraris i mean i don't know some of the some of the things that they they've earned you know by being so successful like darren doesn't give a crap about that he still just rocks up in the <laughs> same care. truck he doesn't care like he's yeah. you know like jet's got this new you know rolls royce whatever and he's just like yeah that's lame like he's got his camaro and that's you know way cheaper but you know he's into the engine and tuning and making all this and his favorite thing i think right now is they they did invest some money and buy that that big ass water, water truck, truck. <laughs> i mean he is stoked on that thing <laughs> yeah so for him like he's that kind of person that's grown up and he is just totally fine with having just enough to get by working on the farm using his hands getting dirty doing all those kind of things and making you know like progress you know and rather than you know now having having the money or trying to buy these things or getting expensive things like that doesn't that's not for him he doesn't care um so first off you got to be willing to be that guy right to like, yeah true yeah and um and then also he he is um he's like mr mcgyver you know he's like he, he likes to try to fix and do these things and if, <laughs> yeah and if there's an issue he wants to be able to help solve them so he like gets super invested he and he he's like obviously like such a thinker you know like he's like what if maybe this is why this is happening and he's got his own theories and everything um so i think that he, the way that he works is a little bit different than a lot of of, of people because he he has theories and all these things but he's willing he wants to have discussions about them and and if you're if he if he, he might come to us and go hey I think that our bike would be better in the whoops if, you know, when I watch them ride, no, and he watched, he's watched he's them ride every, every day. Yeah, yeah. So he sees every little thing that they've done. And I can kind of relate because with my son, I'm watching him, you know, like a hawk, like we're doing hockey, right? I'm watching every little thing he does and I'm going, okay, what can he do better? If, if I, he needs to do this better. How can I teach him how to do that? I can't tell him and yell at him. He's not that kind of kid. You know, like I can't go, freaking do it dummy you know like yeah, some, some parents yeah, yeah. can do that to their kid and they're and they respond yeah chad was like that yeah. you know his dad would be be and or tell him that he can't do it and and really get them really pissed off and then they yeah, just chad Rrr. runs on aggression yeah yeah, yeah yeah and then there's kids that just doesn't work with and, it, and my son's one and it's kind of like like i think jet's the same um you got to try to make it fun for them and do things like that and 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 hopefully it comes i mean i think with jet a lot of those things he watch hunter and then it would come pretty naturally but um he he's good at, at that and having those discussions and, and we can kind of like go back and forth. And if we have a reason why we know that it won't work or if we tried it and this is why you show him that you had, you took these steps and why it didn't work. And he's like, ah, 
Got it. All right, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's not go that way. Let's go maybe something else. That you know, like, and that's just full humility. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. And, and being and, in it for the exact right reasons. Right, right. And he's and he really wants to make improvements, and it's it has nothing to do with an ego or him. You know, just being a hard ass and going like, no, like, you know, we're gonna do this my way or whatever. He's he's able to be a teammate rather than just like you know, the guy that that's making all these decisions and stuff. So it makes it easier to work with him when, when you can have real conversations and, and discussions rather than, you know, him just trying to be the boss kind of forces ideas on you. Kind yeah. of thing. And how much impact does he make? Do you think a lot actually? And, and I mean, cause he, I think he makes impact with the actual motorcycle, like whatever, but the biggest impact he makes is with his, the his boys. boys, you know, like, yeah. I've said this to him a bunch of times and I've gone to him for advice on parenting because the fact that the boys are um, willing and like listening to him, I mean, you know, that doesn't happen very often. Like with any kid, like if, like I said, like with my kid with, with hockey and if I'm trying to tell him like, and I play hockey, so I, I know, and I'm like, dude, you, you got to do it this way. And he's just like looking at me like, you know, and I, it freaking pisses you off. Cause oh, I'm like, right. I'm like, dude, I want someone to like tell him like, how good are you at hockey and how good am I? Pretty freaking <laughs> like a lot better than you. Shouldn't you listen to me? And he's still just like, Ugh. you know, it's your typical kid with your dad. You got to have somebody else do it. Yeah. But they don't mind listening to Darren at all. And they, they take what he's, I mean, maybe they'll give him some crap, but. Um, no, you are right. Yeah. They, 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 he talks to them and he's able to have that relationship with them where he can sit him down and go, no, like this is why this is why this and you need to do this and you know even testing he'll be like <laughs> jet was right like last week we were at the test track and uh, actually at this point i wasn't even there I, uh, on that day um but the um, they were saying that uh he's he's trying some parts on his on or hunter was trying some parts on his bike and jet's like done riding you know and he's 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 done for the day and um he's like hey hunter or hey jet come over here and test uh hunter's bike and i want you to see if you feel whatever it is that hunter's feeling and he's like no i'm good i'm i'm done like i'm not riding anymore because i'm I'm beat or whatever and and (laughs) and and darren can just be like let me rephrase rephrase that get your ass over here and ride (laughs) hunter's bike and tell us what you think and he's like ah you know (laughs) like that kind of stuff you know can only happen if darren's there to do it because what are they gonna do fire him you know like (laughs) you you know you know so um that kind of stuff uh, is uh, he's super valuable at and like luckily both of them like the same direction and bike like you okay like you know like if if one guy rode like villapoto and then the other guy rode like you know ken roxon um it, you probably couldn't set the bike up the same right but luckily they they got the same technique basically like you yeah. said earlier and and they they and they seem to usually like the same thing although I think, you know, Hunter's shocks maybe not as stiff as, as Jet and might be because of the height and the weight and, you know, yeah. he's able to load it. But for the most part, they're almost identical. So they can go back and forth, which helps them because then, you know, it's like you have a clone of yourself telling you, like agreeing with you going, yeah, that was better. Or like, no, you're right. That does feel a little weird. Maybe we should keep working on it, stuff like that. Um, but without Darren there kind of like facilitating that, it doesn't happen. So, um, and then he's also man with their confidence and all those things like that he's he's he should really get like another career in like motivational speaking or something like that yeah. maybe, and maybe not speaking like in a to a group of people but like just like a mentor yeah type of exactly yeah, yeah he's, he he's unreal like. yeah he's awesome and the way he's able to to talk uh, you know and and yeah like motivate people it's uh it i definitely study him you know quite a bit it's funny like again yeah because my wife's just so on the outside you know and like she was at that shoot in florida right. with us and that we left and she was we were driving out of the the compound and she knows i'm close and i've known him forever and stuff and she's just like well pretty obvious why the boys are so good and i it was just out of nowhere and mm. i'm like oh why she's like how's the dad <laughs> she's like darren's amazing like he he is like he she could just see how he rubbed off on those guys you Mm -hmm. know and it's just yeah the dude and it's funny because to me like that's just a 
salt of the earth. Like we yeah. would say, that's a salt of the earth Aussie bloke. Heck yeah. You know, like he's the guy. My dad's very similar in a lot of ways, like just that MacGyver kind of yeah, like that, same with mine, yeah. that spirit, you know, and like there's something about in Oz, it's like very common to do a trade. Mm. So you go, you don't go to university, you right? Know, like you just trading school. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> you're year 10, you're 15 years old, and then you're just a man. Like you're working. My dad was a boilermaker. So he was just welding, yeah. you know, at 15, he just goes and you're just around these like old school, hard men from when you're a young dude. Yeah. And like Darren has like that Aussie grit yeah. and it's like, you're starting from the bottom and there's, you know, you don't have money, you don't have career options. You don't like, there's just all of these um, like limits in a way put on you just of like where you are, the country you're born, the time you were born in. Like, so he's such an amazing product of that time. Yeah. You know, do the most with what you got and you haven't got much right. and you work all day and it's all on you. Like, I mean, it's one of those things, like, as I got a bit older, I look back at my dad and my child. It's all those things you said, you yeah. know, with like your son, like, like dad used to race supercross and motocross in Australia. I wouldn't listen to anything you said, <laughs> you know. But it's like that old school Aussie kind of upbringing. And I just think Darren's like such an awesome example of that. And it's like, it's rare in Oz now, yeah. you know, like that time, like he's from a period of time that created like a really, you know, unique type of dude. And it's like, it, yeah, he just comes across as such a, a special guy. Like whether you interact with him just on a personal level or if it's yeah. like meeting your wife or your kid or whatever. And then on like the, the technical motorcycle level and then like that motor, motivational speaker level, it's just like, it's got to be such a crazy part of their success. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then to keep them, keep the boys level headed enough, even when they have all the success to, you know, like be at home and still have to do the dishes and things yeah, like that yeah. that they do you know whatever and and their personality wise they're they're obviously way different you know with hunter being already basically a man at whatever age he you know what is and living on his own where jet's like nah we're we're He's not, still we're not there yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is cool like you know like um uh it's it's cool to see but um but that's where he you know having to balance like i said earlier when, when you have a kid that needs to kind of get that kick in his ass to like get to where he is versus a kid that isn't going to respond to that at all. And that's kind of where I feel like I need to be at with, as a manager with like, it just employees too, you know, yep. some, some guys are, are, are hard enough to like, you, you got to like be on them and, and kind of talk crap a little bit to them, you know, yeah. other guys are not the same, you know, so you got to treat them differently and finding what that is, is, is tough. And that's the kind of stuff like for him, two different types of boys, they take two different types of, of upbringing, you know, or like teaching and he's, he's really good at that. So, um, yeah, that's where I've kind of tried to learn from him a little bit. We're excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125 Gypsy Gang.